I think Jack's ready. I think Jack's ready too. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do something that I did last week, but not on camera. Well, no, I didn't even do it on camera. Uh, on the uh, you know uh, when we release this all on box set, um, it'll be on the lost episodes section. Uh, oh, yeah. When I find Along with our, our our like our audio commentary yes. over the videos, where we go back yeah. after the fact and talk over ourselves. Yes. Yeah. They have no negative relationship at all. Who's that? Bubba and Randy. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah. I thought you did last week. I, I did in the original version, but oh, director's the, cut. We cut it out. Version. We cut it out in the director's cut because I don't think we need it. Um. But you added it to this week's episode. Yes. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Uh, so, you didn't watch last week, so some of this might not make sense to you. I mean, none of this has ever made sense to me. <laughs> so, we're gonna have VKM come out and say, Randy Orton, I asked you the question last week. What is your favorite color? No, he says, what is your answer? And Orton Wait, what about the crowd who weren't there last week? They need to know what the question was. Oh, my God. The question was, will you be my guy? Oh, wow. The crowd just like, starts <laughs> like, whoa, Vince. <laughs> will you whoa. take that belt off of Big Kev for me? Wow. Okay. You. So you, there's a three-way relationship going on here. Yes. Where Kev is getting debelted. And Orton says yes. Just comes out and is like, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he walks backstage. <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> and then Vince goes, oh, buddy, that's my guy, that's my boy. <laughs> yeah. Has he phoned his son? <laughs> no, not yet. His son still got missing. We still don't know where he is. Okay, I thought Vince would like this some better, honestly. Maybe. Uh, so we're actually going to open up with a Sheamus match. Fella! Jericho still hasn't been on the show yet. <laughs> Fuck, I knew I forgot that last week. A bit of in a while. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's actually kind of... This, this is week three. He's missed two rolls. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, what? What's your point here? I mean, there isn't really one. Okay. Uh, so Seamus is going to take it up the bum. Um, he's going to take on... Wild. Yeah. Colin Cassidy. Oh, yes. The Whopper Colin single push has begun. <sighs> <coughs> it has begun in earnest. Yes. Twelve minutes. Twelve minutes. Ten. Twelve. Ten. If it's going ten, you've got to have Ty Dillinger on commentary. Twelve. Okay. And Seamus goes over. Oh, I tell you what, you should do at some point is you should you should have Ty be a special guest timekeeper, but after ten minutes, he just walks out of the arena shouting ten. <laughs> ten. 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 <laughs> ten. <laughs> And then we're going to have a custom angle in which everybody's boy Seamus rated on mine. entertainment calls out the, Are you not entertained? He yells stuff about that some bitch AJ Styles and how he gonna get got. Is he gonna get got? He gonna get got. Wow. Guys, he's gonna get got. He gonna get got. Damn. And then we're going to quick fire into another angle that I also that also was cut from last week's special edition. Oh, this might be familiar to me then, right? Yeah, and Chris Jericho it's, comes down to the it's ring. It's the Chris Jericho Open Challenge. It's the Chris Jericho Open <laughs> Challenge. So Jericho says that, you know, no matter what, no matter – did he lose on the pay-per-view? I don't, I don't remember. My, what? Yeah, he lost to Orton, right? 
Right. So Jericho says, no matter who he loses to, no matter what happens, Chris Jericho is still the GOAT, the greatest of all times, of all the times. Go what to do. That's not at all how it would be said. So he comes down to the ring and says... He wants to prove his greatness. No, he doesn't want to prove his greatness. Everybody already knows Chris Jericho's greatness. He wants somebody to come out here and try to attain greatness by working a match with Chris Jericho. It doesn't say working, though, because that would be terrible. But you know what I mean. And I do. Ricochet answers the call of duty. Oh, you went with you got. Yep. Went with the original cut. If you've been following the dirt sheets, you've known that this has been a plan for a while now. This has. So we have Ricochet versus Chris Jericho. And this is going to go 10 minutes. And they're going all out. Right? All out can go... Yeah, it can go to Okay. It can go up to like 15. Oh, it can go up to 20 this year. Yeah, that's right. It's been extended quite a bit. Wow. It's what you... Uh, do you remember last year you had a problem with it that it was uh, all out doesn't necessarily mean like spot fest. They changed it. It is basically just like trying their best using okay. lots of... Okay, yeah, yeah, Because yeah. my problem was that it was like, oh, you, it's... Yeah, all out was just spots. And I'm like, no, all out should be like, it's a big show. Go out there and put on the best you can. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not exactly that. It's more of just like... They don't have a lot of rest time in the match. So it can go like 18, 20 minutes, but it can't go like uh, 20. So Jericho which... beats Ricochet. And it happens. He beats him. Okay. I've got to get an analysis for a minute. I still love that. It's just such a vile collection of words. <laughs> um, <clears throat> AJ hasn't been on the show yet? No, he was off screen for the promo, right? Right. So, we're going to quick cut backstage. Is it a quick cut or is it just a extremely fast cut? A little cut. An extremely fast cut. Right, okay. So it's not quite quick, guys. It's not in mind when you're imagining this. Uh, AJ is being interviewed by uh, Raw number one, number one ring announcer, Ty Dillinger. That was terrible. What the fuck was that joke? That was... I think it was a Funaki joke. It was. It was fucking terrible. <laughs> uh, and he says, I just, I just don't understand... What James' problem is with me, you know? He's got some kind of agenda against me getting TV time. This is this is this feud. <laughs> I'm not even... Wait, wait, wait. What's going on there? Okay, <laughs> quick explanation for Buddy. Last week, AJ came out and said he was going to put the loss to Seth Rollins behind him. And that, you know, he can't... He has to have the power of positivity and not, like, hang himself on the negatives. Oh, can, can I offer you in, in the new day... <laughs> <laughs> they have positivity, and, and you can have them for the low, low price of pretty much any heel tag team. <laughs> <laughs> That's so amazing. I'll even throw in a free Xavier Woods. He oh, comes my. with a free YouTube channel, too. Oh, wow. I could so use that. Actually, we'll talk later. Um, <laughs> uh, and then Seamus came out and was all like, Nah, fella. It's your time is up. My time is now. This is Fergal Devitt, actually. What? The? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and so he says, you know, I'm not dealing with you people getting more TV time than me. <laughs> Holy shit. What is this accent? We're like jumping all over the place. I swear it was Australian. It's much better than whenever I've tried to do Japanese on SmackDown. So it's, ha ha. It's... Funaki number one. Um. <laughs> Uh, Vudria or Samoa Joe even honestly I'm just a Welsh lad <laughs> <laughs> anyways like... so he says you know uh, Vince is not booking me in the opportunities so I'm going to make me own and that is the story of my wait, wait. life 
This is AJ Styles and Ty Dillinger. No, Sheamus. Oh. Ty Dillinger's talking to AJ, being like, yo, what's Sheamus' is- So Ty Dillinger's interviewing AJ and telling him and being like, yo, man, what's Sheamus' problem with you? And then AJ's like, I don't know. And then Ty is all like, why do you think you have such a strong appeal with the gay community? The gay community! And then we quick cut and we're like, oh shit, no, no, AJ didn't just sound extremely freaked out by that. Um, we're totally... I we're, honestly, I, like that joke is ever prevalent, but AJ's like, image in the WWE has gone so far to make me forget how homophobic he is. <laughs> and I was like, wait, what? Oh yeah, that's AJ Styles! <laughs> of course it is! I don't have anything for Dean. Throw him in a match with Seth. <laughs> I kid. Okay, here's an idea. For the pay-per-view or for, like, in general? Just in general. I'm not doing anything with him. Huh? Have you announced Money in the Bank yet? I have announced Money in the Bank. Have you done any of the qualifiers yet? I have done one. Who qualified and who failed? <laughs> Tyler Breeze! <laughs> Who do you face? Zack Ryder. We could pull- have Deaton do a money in the bank, either qualifier or actually get into the match. You also have to do a qualifier for the... Inter- well, you don't have to, but you okay. could do qualifiers We're- for the interpromotional tag team match. Who gets to represent Raw? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. All right, I'm going to have Dean... Take on not Alberto Del Rio. Dean's going to take on Alberto Del Rio. Um, and he's going to win. Alberto Del Rio versus Dean Alvarez, did you say? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And then we're going to have um, the amazing storyline of you beat me, so I don't like you. And Del Rio is just going to kick his head off after. What's this leading to? Something. Okay. This is a feud now. I'm assuming not a long-term feud. No, no, no. Okay. Del Rio is doing something at the paper. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He'll be he'll be fine for the pay per view. Yeah. Um. Now, holla, holla, player! It's a tag team match, and you're gonna go one on one with the Undertaker. What? No. Can I offer you in the Undertaker? Teddy, <laughs> Teddy, Teddy. We don't we don't have the Undertaker. What? You don't have Teddy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's like Teddy. Matter of fact, you're not even here. What? <laughs> what you talking about, player? Oh, shit. Of course you've already done this match. You have, like, four tag teams and you never booked them against Jobbers. Let's get... Oh, ties there. Ties let's there. get the job squad going. <laughs> yeah! This, I believe, is David Otunga's first appearance. It is. <laughs> <laughs> to victory! It's not open. You like the vault villains. I don't. You pushed them pretty hard. No, they're just number one contenders. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> it. Idols. Yeah. They're on the same level as Randy Orton. No. Buddy, we're not NXT. Not all titles are equal. Come on. <laughs> Well, NXT, we like we don't know what the fuck's going on on NXT. On SmackDown, the tag titles aren't equal at all. They're not even getting on SummerSlam. <laughs> so, Kalisto is going to take on... The Undertaker? Volador! No, I've done this like 17 times because all I have is Volador. I just imagine a shrine with Volador's picture on. Like, Volador! 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 <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. When I said this is all I have, I'm not kidding. Um, well. Okay, we're going to have Seth then. 
take on. Pretty, oh, wait, I checked. Primo, Primo, Primo. Randy Orton and Dean Ambrose could both drop to lightweight if you wanted them to. Just point that out. It's okay. I'm a man with a plan. I do not believe that. With a dagger in his hand. This is going to do really good. Yeah. So, Sethi Kerr just wins. I would make this longer. This could go. This could get real good. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And then we're going to have Seth cut a promo on um, that Chicago guy. Kalisto? Yes. I might have made up he's from Chicago. <laughs> nah. Let, let's see. He's definitely right. No, New York. Oh, no. Mm. I'll check. I don't know. Whatever. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Seth then comes from a Kalisto saying, you know, Kalisto, no matter what, you won't beat me because I won't allow it. Born in Chicago? It's weird that I know that. That's creepy, bro. Deal. Are you just, like, the worst? Or, like, what? Well, I think it was because one time I had a conversation with somebody who thought that Kalisto could be the next big WWE Mexican star. I'm like... Do they have a Mexican, bro? Yeah. Bam! Seeing El Generico could be the next big Mexican Free star. TV! Free TV! It's our main event, though. Big Cavs going to get the win, and then this is where the antics of fun start. We're going to have post-match anarchy. Uh, Kevin is celebrating in the ring. Putty's going to have, like, nightmare flashbacks. And then all of a sudden, Randy Orton hits the ring. Led by Vince McMahon. And Vince, sure he's not led by Victor? Vince is like, go get him, boy. And then, uh, all of a sudden, out the crowd, here he comes. He's back. Triple H. Did not problem last week? Nope. I cut it from last week. Oh, director's cutting all up. Yeah, director's cut. Triple H hits the ring. Clears house. Ripsy is back. And the crowd goes mild. And the crowd's like, boo! Boo! And he's like, what the Again, fuck? Who, who is the baby face here? Vince. <laughs> no, serious. Look at the pushes. Those are the default pushes. Vince is the baby face. I mean... Like, he might be in-game the baby face, but in the story, he's not a baby face. How is he not a baby face? Kevin Owens has disrespected not only him, but his belt, his company, and his family on, like, three occasions. Four. Just boys will be boys? No. <laughs> it's Vince. Vince is like a bloody man-child. Like, you insult his family, he's gonna kill you. Exactly, that's not a face thing. That is a face thing. It's a Vince McMahon thing. Deal with it. <laughs> sure, Vince McMahon is never a face. Vince McMahon is a face. Ah, oh, this explains so much. What? The way you watch WWE. <laughs> Vince McMahon <laughs> is always the face. Come on. Austin's the biggest heel in the history of the company, wasn't it? <laughs> Hell yeah. Um... <laughs> Shit, do I have anything pre-booked for this show? He is a face right now, because John Cena was the big heel. Yes. Daniel Bryan was, like, the biggest heel you've ever seen. Yeah, right? man. He, like, tried to hurt my wrestling program. He wanted to, like, take over and drop the ratings. And then Seth Rollins did that. <laughs> <laughs> And let's get Corbin on the show. He'll beat Apollo. The Intercontinental, uh, the, the U.S. champion. Wait, wait, this you blowing this feud off? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Fuck it. It's over. 
Fuck it. Even for the title? Nope. Apollo Crews' road to redemption is over. <laughs> Apollo Crews is dead just like that. <laughs> blam, blam. Uh, tag team jumps aren't on the show. That's fine. They're mentioned in a promo. Oh, no, they're not even. Whatever. Fuck it. Uh, yeah, let's go. You don't have any women on the show. Let's not go. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is this is where my normal Alicia Fox spot would come into play, but. But oh yeah, Braun's not even on the show. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Braun Braun's taking the week off. Did he, did he was he on the show last week? Yes. Okay. Uh, actually, in, in, in never mind. Ty Dillinger is not Raw number one announcer. It is in fact. <laughs> Lana. Tamina. Tamina. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rosa Mendes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it it is Lana. Yeah, let's mm. do that. Yay, wrestling, wrestling. Wrestling. I told you, Colin's carryable. Everyone's carryable. No, no. <laughs> Don't 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 give me that shit. Don't it's give true. me that shit. Don't tell me everybody's careable. No, Paul. Really, you should have just pulled this feud out a couple more weeks. Nope. And then it's all good. It's over. Nope, it's all good. It's over. It's done. We have Jericho doing his challenge. Ricochet comes out, and this should do balls to the walls. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Not- the fuck, Chris? <laughs> I mean, that's not Chris's fault. Uh, yeah, this did all right. Yeah. Raw number one announcer. Good. We have mm-hmm. a lot of good matches this week. Good. Not as good. <laughs> I mean, it was the job squad. Blah, blah, am. <laughs> I told you. Excellent promo from Rollins. That tanked the fucking main. I mean, I doubt that was actually it. Ninety-four, seventy-five, great chemistry. Hmm, no. I imagine it was the lack of associated hot, hot storyline. Hmm, maybe. And we get in 100 for the post-match. Ripsy is back. Ripsy is back. Morrow was... Morrow just takes a heart attack and doesn't even talk. What the fuck, Morrow? What are you doing? Putty. There's 100... What? There's 100 segments of commentators usually can't keep up. They just got like... <laughs> no, it's just that... Commentator skills are usually around the 80s, and then this was a 100. It was 20 points lower, so. This is good. And we will see you. Some point. Fuck off.